welcome back to this week of the Mohawk Valley. It's time for the Central New York Travel Show portion of today's program, uh, the final show of 2016. And we say good morning to Sarah Foster from Oneida County Tourism. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Great. We're going to end the year with uh, a laugh. Yeah. Yes, we are. I can't believe it's the last show of the year. That's crazy. But um, today we are joined by Phil Farda, my friend also. And um, he's with Comedy CNY. And I would say you're like the trivia laughter guru of the area. Good morning. I would say the same thing. All right. Great. Well, welcome, Phil. I always wanted to be a guru. Yeah, I think you are. (laughs) Good morning. How are uh... you guys? Jim, how you doing, man? Good, good. I like your shirt. Thank you. (laughs) Full of compliments today. Actually, you know, it's kind of funny. You know, we're on radio we're talking about shirts, but you can actually see it because we, you know, videotape all the shows now. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm good thing to mention. Yeah. People can always catch up on this <laughs> on uh, YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. Perfect. So we're here to talk about trivia. You have um, a bunch of stuff coming up for the year. I mean, I would say even since I've known you over the past couple of years, what you're doing in the area has grown tremendously. Yeah, this thing has uh, really taken off. We started doing just comedy shows, and then we uh, expanded into trivia. It's something I just tried out. We did, like co- combined comedy and trivia, uh, and it did really well. So we, you know, we started with one night, and now we have uh, we're at eight different locations. We're doing uh, nine nights. Wow! We, yeah, we have actually two nights in one spot, which is. Well, yeah. I joined you at Luke or no? At Lucan's. Not Lucan's. Swifties the other day. Oh yeah, you were at Swifties. Yep, Swifties. But I know I feel like I was one of those uh, that original crew that used yeah, to go you're an OG. to Lucan's. Yeah, yeah you're an OG. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we started at Lucan's was like our first big spot that kind of like was getting packed. Uh, we've since expanded. We're at Swifties. We're at, uh, we're at Applebee's now, which is a big score. We're, uh, at Cavallo's, um, Pizza Boys. I, you know, I can go right down the list, but it's all, all these are online. I should yeah. know these. I don't. I should know where I'm working. <laughs> That's okay. It's good. We have a couple different trivia hosts now, uh, that are all like local comics yeah. who, uh, who host the events. And they do really well. It's free to play anywhere, so you can just show up and play along. And is, does it cover almost every day of the week? or uh, Right now we run Monday through Thursday, okay. so pretty much. Yeah. And so you have multiple like uh, ones going on at different locations. Sure, yeah. So nights. like on a Monday, there's a couple different nights or a couple different locations. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, we're at Lucan's and uh, Applebee's on certain weeks. So mm-hmm. uh, we have you know different hosts. So it's you can play based on what's near you. Yeah. Or just, you know, who your favorite host is or where you want to go that night. Well, that's what happened. We had been over, where was it? Uh, Hotel Utica. Right. I think you stumbled in accidentally, kind of, right? Well, actually, we knew it was trivia. Um, Nick Bruno's friends were playing over there. So he's like, you guys just want to go over to Swifties and, you know, have a beer and play trivia. So that's how we wound up there. But it's good that um, you're all over the county. And, you know, honestly, when you just said that, I kind of took it for granted that not all trivia is comedy. I feel like that's the norm because that's what I know in this area because of you, but that's not typically sure, necessarily yeah. how trivia is. But um, you definitely give us some good laughs while we play. Yeah, it's usually kind of bland. That's yeah, what, that's what we were. That's what our difference was. We we're like, well, let's make it more fun. So it's yeah. a lot more fun. Uh, we currently are looking at some new nights adding uh, in Herkimer and Rome too. It's awesome. just it's the end of the year, so it's hard. You know, it's hard to put anything on at the end of the year. But I think in February, like January, February. Uh, you will see probably we're going to have some new nights in Rome and in Herkimer, mm-hmm. uh, and we're expanding. So. It's good, and it's um, something different to do during the week, I feel like. Yeah, I you mean, know. if you're going you're gonna to go out and have drinks anyway, just yeah. come out and play along while you drink. You we know? have a lo- Our winter is long, as we're learning this year, so it's <laughs> nice to kind of get out of the house and do something. Um, so you also have a couple of shows that are coming up in the beginning of January, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, we didn't stop doing comedy. Uh, we just I do, I do less shows now around trivia, but... Uh, we have we do a monthly series at Cavallo's, and that's coming up. Our next one's uh, January seventh, the first Saturday of the year, okay. um, and it's going to be uh, a great show. We got headliner Erin Harks, and she's actually doing a double header this weekend. This is something we've never done before. So on Friday night, January sixth, she's going to be playing music at Pizza Boys. She's a great acoustic musician. Musician, and uh, Saturday she's going to be at Cavallo's doing comedy, and we have a full comedy show. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And it's almost sold out, actually. That's awesome. What, um, at Cavallo's, do you do that still on the back? It's, on, like the, on, they, that? it's on the deck. So they, the we, we deck, eat the okay. deck. Yep, there's a full bar. We're seated for about 80 out there. Yeah. Uh, so it's a great size show. I love that location. It's we, a nice we, spot. We partnered with you for Catalyst for something. Yep. I don't remember if it was like Valentine's Day, but oh my God, we had a blast. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's a great setup. We have, you know, the lights, the stage, everything. It's it's We, we simulate a comedy club and it, mm-hmm. it's done really well. Um, but tickets actually, yeah, we're almost sold out for that event. So if it's something that you're interested in, a listener wants to come to, you should check that out uh, sooner than later. Cause Plug it, uh, 
Where do people go for this information? Uh, everything here we're talking about, you can find online at ComedyCNY.com. Okay. You'll get our full trivia schedule on the website. Uh, you'll also see all of our upcoming shows. We're going to be returning to uh, Nicole's and Camden later uh, this sh- in, in January, in fe- January, end of January. So uh, all of our upcoming shows, you can get all the details. Perfect. Um, and we were also talking, you do, you, you keep very busy. Um, what do you have going on on Fridays? It's a show. Uh, oh, yeah. So Fridays, <laughs> I go to Syracuse and I sit down with my buddy Matt Major mm-hmm. and we do the Matt Major show. I co host it with him. Uh, it broadcasts nation- actually internationally uh, through Bubba Army Radio. So Bubba the Love Sponge was a, a big name on the Howard Stern and stuff. So we're on his network right now. And um, we're in the process of turning that into a daily show as well. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I, and at first, I didn't want to drive out to Syracuse, but the show is so much fun that I enjoy <laughs> doing it. I yeah, like the two of you got the dream team over there. Yeah, yeah, it's a great it's a great time, man. Matt's he he's a great uh, lead man. Yeah, I kind of like playing the the side. That's good, awesome. So, um, we'll talk about it once more. Pizza Boys is Friday, January sixth, yep, and Pizza that Boys. is music. And it's going to be a night of music. It's running from seven to ten. Yeah, uh, there's no cover or anything. Just come on in and hang out. If you haven't seen it, Pizza Boys Tap Room, say. <laughs> it's beautiful in there, man. I didn't realize it at uh, first, but they actually expanded into the the whole next mm-hmm. building, and they have a beautiful tap room. They have wine on tap. So yeah. you get, like, fresh wine. Oh, no, um, they've been doing great things over there. Yeah. They also have a phenomenal buffalo chicken melt if someone's looking for food. <laughs> sure. Well, if you're listening on a Friday, they do uh, – right, when does this air? Does this air on a Friday? Sunday. Uh-huh. Well, then – Today is Sunday. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a long week, I know. <laughs> uh, but, they yeah, they have a great specials every night of the week. So on our Monday yeah. on Monday nights, uh, they do, like uh, – we have trivia Monday night there. They do half-price buffalo uh, – boneless wings mm, so, so be- between that and the beers and the trivia you have a good time over there yeah that's cool and then so that's uh friday january 6th and then the seventh is the comedy at cavallo's and sure. that's that the, it's our winter comedy series okay continuing um and again tickets are almost sold out for that so go to online comedycny.com and uh, check those out they're only ten dollars in advance oh that's yeah that's a steal and then um trivia you have it going on uh, Monday through Thursday, it's, so it's definitely check out the, the website yeah. and find the bar closest to you and go uh, do yeah. some comedic uh, trivia, right? Yes, please do that. Awesome. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, Thanks Sarah. For being here. I like your shirt. Thank you. I like your hoodie. <laughs>